The Office has become one of the greatest staples in comedy over the last 14 years. After binging the whole series on Netflix, I'm officially hooked. Not too long after binging, I discovered the Dunderpedia website and found out a whole bunch of information on behind the scenes facts about every episode from every season. So I thought it'd be fun and interesting to make a 9 part video series covering an interesting fact from every episode from every season. Now I know you're thinking, wait, isn't that what Angela Kinsey and Jenna Fisher are doing on their new podcast, Office Ladies? Yeah, and you can, you don't have to watch this, this is just a fun idea for me to do. Plus, you know, they're only doing one episode at a time, where I'm doing multiple episodes at a time for, you know, each season. Plus, I had this idea before the podcast was even announced. I'm also going to try to be ahead of the podcast. While we're on the subject, go subscribe to Office Ladies, it's a great podcast. So with that all out of the way, today we're looking at Season 6. While playing Hangman with Michael and Gossip, it can be seen that Kevin guessed every letter of the alphabet except T. When Michael interrupts the meeting between David and Jim in the meeting, the TV can be seen in front of the picture on the wall. However, when Andy interrupts the same meeting later in the episode, the TV can be seen to the right of the picture. When Michael's running to Jim's office and the promotion and everyone's talking during it, in the background you can hear Kevin ask again, What does a bean mean? A lot of the cast's family members were used as extras during the Made of the Mist scenes in Niagara. Kevin actor Brian Baumgartner's real life parents were the couple right behind Jim and Pam in the ticket line. They just happened to be on vacation at that area at that time. In Mafia, Michael asks Aaron to bring him coffee from Stop and Shop. According to the Stop and Shop website on the episode's air date, there was no Stop and Shop in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The nearest one was two hours away by car. While Michael is talking to Toby and the lover, in the background, Toby's computer screen switches from Microsoft Word to the Dunder Mifflin wallpaper between two shots. The original opening for Koi Pond involved the people of the warehouse putting together a haunted house for kids, but due to a gag where Michael hangs himself, people got offended so they cut it. Papa Razzo's, the restaurant where the double date between Michael, Pam's mom, Pam, and Jim take place in and double date is not known to be in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Originally, after Michael says there's been a murder and murder, they were supposed to cut to a commercial. However, the producers thought this was too misleading and that people would think that an actual homicide took place. There was a deleted scene in shareholder meeting where Oscar gets a text from Michael to come down to the hospitality suite. This means that this episode took place on Tuesday, November 17th, 2009. Aaron dragging Michael's suitcase and Scott Tots as a nod to the UK office. When Don, the UK Pam, drags a suitcase to David, the UK Michael's motivational seminar. It is also a nod to when Pam dragged around her suitcase in the season 5 episode Lecture Circuit. Michael's pin code and Secret Santa is YMCA. If you look that up on the phone pad, the numbers are 9622. Michael's quote, Helmet hair, unquote, and the banker is because in real life, Michael actor Steve Carell just returned from filming Dinner for Schmucks. Dwight's limited appearance in Sabre is due to Dwight actor Rain Wilson filming a movie. Michael canceling his Vancouver Olympics reservation was a plug to the 2010 Winter Olympics, which was airing the next day. Pam's lactation consultant in the delivery was played by Pam actress Jenna Fisher's real-life husband, so he could, quote, go for it. St. Patrick's Day was originally supposed to air on March 18th, but because the delivery became a two-part episode, it moved up. New leads became the March 18th episode. The producers originally wanted to film the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Scranton, but because of the change, it was impossible. This fact is more cemented as Joe is not seen in the two-part episode. During the meeting in the beginning of New Leads, Michael mentions that the lost and found is lost. We then see Creed nervously adjusting women's glasses on his face, indicating that he's the one that stole it. Ryan actor and chair writer BJ Novak fought long and hard for the tag at the end of Happy Hour. He was enthralled with the idea that an overlooked warehouse worker had such a dramatic life that not even the camera crew picked it up. Michael takes Aaron to lunch in Secretary's Day. Even though in Cafe Disco, he said that there is a strict no lunch with the boss policy. In body language, Dwight mentions that he is a cholera survivor. Cholera has an effect in developed society in a very long time. While he is in the kitchen with Jim and Pam in the cover-up, Michael eats his comfort food, black olives with mayonnaise. Throughout the scene, his ball has moved throughout different camera angles. From further away from him, and then closer to him, and then back to being far away from him. At the time of airing for the chump, there was no Billy Joel rock band game. After it aired, there was a review for the episode in Entertainment Weekly where someone said, Let's hope it never actually exists ever. 
Billy Joel eventually saw this review and told his people, get me on that Rock Band game. So it's really thanks to The Office and that one review that Billy Joel Rock Band game even exists. In Whistleblower, Dwight mentions that the office building is located at 1725 Slough Avenue. Slough is the city where Warnham Hog is located in the UK office. So that's it. If you like this video, you may also like interesting facts from each episode from seasons 1 through 5 of The Office, and I am planning on making an interesting fact from each episode from season 7, 8, and 9, so be on the lookout for that.